the disconnection between science and education is so extreme that, you know, on one side, the scientists are saying, well, uh, there are these uh, brain development issues that have specific impact on uh, learning to read. And here's some brain pictures, and here's some genetic evidence, and here's the white mitre tracks that are not as reliable. And I mean, it's a pretty detailed story. And on the other side, you have educators who say, you know, the prominent educators that the teachers look to for the you know, authoritative statements about these saying, dyslexia is a hoax, it's just an excuse for poor teaching. And um, how, so these are the heads of, you know, the various organizations and so on on the education side who have teach their prospective teachers that dyslexia is just something you can ignore because it's, it was just a term that was invented to, you know, pathologize bad teaching and kids who are failing. I, I can't, this is just mind boggling to me, I can't understand what those people are thinking. There, there, is, there are facts, there, is, there are data. It, 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 I guess it's another situation in which people have developed these beliefs for some reason and then if you can tr show them a bunch of facts that ch challenge their core beliefs, they don't suddenly go, oh, I needed to rethink that. They dig in further. So uh, you, you do have in the education world, Teachers look to a number of these authority figures uh, for um, guidance when a new finding comes out in the research literature, or you know, how should I think about dyslexia? How should I think about this or that finding? And um, the the view on that side is dyslexia is nothing for you to be concerned with. You teach children to read. Some of them struggle. Some of them do find it easy. And your job is to just cope with the range of circumstances and kids that you're confronted with. And the fact that the, some of those kids, whether some of those kids have a condition, so-called, that interferes with reading, has no impact on what you do whatsoever. On the science side, we say, no, we, if you understand the causes of why this kid is struggling, and there could be several, then that will inform how you intervene with that kid, what you focus on and what you don't focus on. So to me, there's like a know nothing attitude on the education side about dyslexia and the net result is what we know happens in states, state after state. Kids who really are dyslexic, I mean, there's a family history of dyslexia, there's a sibling with dyslexia, there's kid is struggling or showing the signs, early, early behavioral indices, uh, of, of, of uh, being at risk for developing reading problems. There's all the evidence suggesting that this kid's got a constitutional thing and we need to intervene as soon as we can. Uh, it's just not, it doesn't happen because there's no feeling that there's any compel, you know, urgency to it on the education side. Well, the kid will come in, maybe they're reading, maybe they're not, we'll deal with it. Uh, I think this has been really oh, terrible, and you know, there, we all know story after story of people who struggled with reading, and then when they were 14, somebody said, oh, you know, you might get a workup because you seem to be a classic uh, dyslexic, uh, and uh, I mean, and, and, and how many people never get that, that identification, and how many of them never get the help that would ha the interventions that would help a great deal, a very high percentage of kids if they got it quality intervention at a reasonable, reasonably young age. So uh, to me, this is a sca scandalous thing. It's very hard to understand intellectually. How can one group think that there's some, this is one of the great success stories of cognitive neuroscience. We can understand dyslexia from the behavior down to, you know, its brain and, and how the brain develops. That's pretty good science. And another side saying, it was just something that somebody made up to excuse poor teaching. We really just need to teach children and the labels don't matter. Can't understand it. And the, you know, who is it that's uh, harmed by this? <laughs>